Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Indica as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we ended up here in a, I think it's like a newspaper place or something. Oh no, it's the fish factory but it's the labels for the fish. And we um, cut off Ilya's infected arm and he was not happy about it and left us here. So let's uh, let's get moving, shall we? Let's get moving. Okay. Look at all these piles of stuff, though. Wow. This place is huge. I suppose you've got to have big cans for big... Um, for big fish and big labels for big cans of fish. All right, so... Do we need to go... Up or something? One way? Maybe? Okay. So we step on. And then do we need to step off? Somewhere? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Are we, are we, are we? Ah, here we go. Alright. So, through one of those doors, I imagine. Was there anything else we could have done? I think not, by the looks of it. That was all we could have done. Alright, well. Can we go through here? Is this locked? Ah. Come on, Indica. You can do it. There we go. Okay. Take out our little lantern. Is there anything here? No? Okay. Oh. Why is my, my lantern going out? How very strange. Well, he's massive, though. I can't speak Russian. Otherwise, I'd know what that said. Damn. Oh, we're back in the can room. Okay. Um, is there anything else we can see here? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, what's this? Oh, an old apple. Can we not? No, can't open that. Okay, so what does this do? Okay, so are we supposed to... Alright, can we get up here? I suppose? Ah, yes, there you go. There you go. Um... Send it up, maybe. Uh, that's too high. Okay. So can we not get up here? Yep, there you go. Marvellous. Okay. Uh, Indica? Can we. Can we not get up there? No? Oh. We didn't need to use the can after all that. Good grief. <laughs> Okay, so can we not? Yes, look at that. Marvellous. Too bloody marvellous. Alright. Hmm. Put our lantern away, I think. I think we have to go up, don't we? Yes, by the looks of it. Okay, we can go up here. So we can go out there or up. Well, what's what's up the inside? Is the inside our way up? I know I'm faffing. You're faffing. Okay. Up we go. In the car. Oh, just another way up. Hmm. Thought there'd maybe be something for us here. Like a relic or something. I don't know. This way. Yeah. It's over here. Ah, I see. So we need to get up there, do we? Right, okay. Let's pull the lever. Should be it. 
it, shouldn't it? Okay, up we go. And again. Is there anything out here? Oh! Ah! Maybe... Maybe... Let's just... Ah, I bet we need to put that on the... Um, on the lift, maybe? Okay. Oh. Can we not now? I've just realised what I'm doing. What an idiot. Okay. And use it to go up onto that platform to get up there. Good grief. Sorry, folks, I am a little slow. <laughs> here, and then up here. And then. Is there somewhere we can get up? Okay, maybe not. I don't think we could take it any higher. Oh, hold on. Hold on! There we go. Okay. Can we open this? No. Wow, did it go up more? Oh, we can get out here. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. The temple of John of Damascus. The one that from Acosta was towering over Indica. She was consumed by anxiety more and more. What if she was late? What if they realized who she was and wouldn't let her in? What if she was not worthy of a miracle? Maybe one needed to buy a ticket to see the miracle, and all the tickets had sold out. What if her certainty in God's plan was just another delusion, a temptation she so faint-heartedly succumbed to? Oh, God! Oh! Lovely. Um... Nice. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Writing by conventional Gerasimus Sutsky. On steepling one's right hand fingers as befits an orthodox Christian in order to make the sign of the Holy Cross. I mean, all right. I'd... Yeah. I don't quite know what that means, but let's just have a little peek while we can. Ooh. Oh, it's just at another the other end. Yeah. Okay. What's 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 this? Oh, we can just sit down. Good God. How biz bizarre. Uh, yeah. What was that noise? Weird. What is that? What is that? I think it's a giant dog. Okay, so we can go that way. We can go down here. Oh, God, there's so much to see. I don't want to miss anything, but... I don't want to be here forever in a day. <laughs> Bast shoe. Bast shoe. Right, possibly left. Pavel Sergeyevich, Indica's father, called his servants, B-words, because of their bast shoes, emphasising the cultural gap between himself and the uneducated peasantry. The latter, however, refused to notice this gap, especially if they had a chance to have a drink with the former. Uh, okay. Alright. What's in here? Nothing. Can't get in. Well, God bless it. Never mind. 
A little bit of bit of stuff about Indica's life. That's interesting. Okay, um That's very concerning, that, that big dog that dog's huge. Is there anything else in here? So we obviously have a lift that we can use here, and it must be for something. So one. Ooh, hello. Ah. It's a safe that we can move. So I assume we can put the safe on the on the lift, maybe, or something. Ooh, what's this? The life of Saint Jonah. In his first years as a monk, the reclusive Saint Jonah lived with Optatus, a shrewd old man known for tempting his brothers and trying their patience. Jonah was no exception. In the morning, Optatus would hide under a bench and jump at him, screaming. In the refectory, he would yell and hurl dead flies and soot from the furnace into Jonah's food. When Jonah was praying, Optatus would shriek and slap the prayer book from his hands. And before going to bed, Optatus would scream and hit Jonah in the stomach with a hot firebrand. Holy! The dude sounds awful. What's this? Can't get through there. Okay. And obviously we can't go through there. Right, okay, so I think we need the lift. And I think the idea is we put the safe on the lift. Maybe. Just as a thought. So... Does it only move down one level? Oh! It's in here. Can't get in. Alright. Okay, well. What? It won't move? Oh damn, well, um, hmm, that wolf is concerning me, doing me a concern. Ah, do we have to get the lift to move? So, ah, no we don't, no we don't, no we don't, it's just a ruse. Okay. What is this place? Okay, some kind of distillery by the looks of it. Oof. Hello, sir. Are you alright? Not very talkative, but that's fine. Okay. Through the window it is, I guess. Uh, we can put the lantern away, I think, can't we? I think he's just happy dancing. Probably very drunk. What's this? Samovar. Last supper, huh? How corny. Is that that? No, it's not. It's not. I thought that was the thing that, um... Are we supposed to take that or just... No. Just look at it. I thought that was the thing that they swing around in church. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not um, not a particularly rig re religious lady. So what does this... Oh, it's another one of those steam things. So can we go across here? Is this allowed? Okay, it's not. All right. All right. All right. All right. I get it. I get it. I'll, 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 I'll go and use the thing. That's fine. Bloody hell. Um... So where do we need to go? Round to the other side? Um. We need to bring it all the way around this way. So we can use it to cross. Maybe. I mean, I'm assuming this is the right thing to do. It looks like the right thing to do. Oof. 
Good God, somebody's having fun. Ilya. Give it back. Have you read it? What's going on? What happened to her? Just a minute, Ilya. I have to see everything, you know. Parashevka Friday. Holy Martyr Parash... Parashkeva, excuse me. Pray to God for us. Yeah, all right. Nothing else? Nothing of any interest. What about through here? No. All right. You don't like it? The prioress cut it as punishment. It wasn't a big deal. I burned Father Sergei's Felonian. Why? Oh. Nope. I mean, at least he didn't leave us behind. That's nice. I don't think he's very happy though, and he's sick. There is a way that seems straight to a man, but its end is the way to death. Proverbs 14.12. Okay. Okay, so... Huh. Okay. Don't ask, don't ask. Oh, here we go. Alright, so do I need to pull this out and then up? And then up. Can we... no? Um, maybe over that way is where we need to go. So we can go through here, I suppose. What is that? What was that? What is that? I don't like it. Um. Hold on, is this where we just were a minute ago? Do we maybe have to move that other one? What the hell is that? Oh my god, okay. Um, hold on. Uh, okay. Get a feeling this is the devil's work. Oh my god, I've just figured it out. What an idiot, honestly. If I had a brain, I'd be dangerous, I tell you what. Then, look at that. It's there. Alright, so. Down that way, or is there a way this way? Maybe. Oh no, that is the way over that way, isn't it? Okay. Do you think? No, that's cloth. Um. I kind of want to go this way just in case we can we can go behind those pipes. Can we indicate? No, she won't go. She won't go.
Is that the devil? Possibly. Cathedral of John of Damascus. Okay. Oh, we didn't get that thing though. Can we can we get it now? Oh yes. There you go. Saint Nicholas, our holy father Nicholas, pray to our Lord Jesus Christ for the salvation of our soul. Ha ha ha! That was what I wanted. So who was that then? That dude. Up there. Ooh, I don't like that. Alright. Let's put the Look, that's our cathedral from the poster. Indica's mad. He's, he's annoying. Uh, Indica. Ilya, sorry. Ilya's pretty mad, I think, still. Yeah, he's, he's, he's really peeved. I mean, you can't ignore me forever, dude. Just so you know. The hand in the, in the bag is kind of weird. It moves. Why does it move? Ugh. It's a weird thing. Gonna check this out. Check out the scene, you know what I mean? More printing things? What, what are these? Okay. Anything else here? A lot of paint. Posters. Ah! There you go. Got to do our thing, do the old, do the business, so to speak. Okay. Oh. Damn. I've got to know. The life of Venerable Alexei. Saint Alexei came from a very pious and devout family. When he was a small child, his sister fell gravely ill. As the girl drew close to death, her inconsolable father started praying to God to take him instead of her. The Lord listened to his prayer, took him, and the girl was miraculously healed. After a few years, she fell ill again. This time, her mother asked for God to take her instead of her daughter. The Lord listened to the prayer and took Alexei's mother instead of his sister. When she fell ill for the third time, it was St. Alexei's turn to pray for her recovery. However, this time God did not listen to the plea, as he had many things in store for this future saint. After he grew up, Alexei became famous across Russia for his many miracles. Hey, hey we can level up. So, what's this? Repentance for every time you get points, you gain a chance to gain an extra eight. Every time you get points, you gain an extra 1.21 multiplier. That would probably work... A little bit. What's that? Gain 10 guilt points right now. No, I don't think so. Regret. Repentance. Shame. Oh my god. Okay, I think we'll go with that because a multiplier will probably be better, I think. I think you'd gain more over time. I don't know what the purpose of the points is. As they've said, the points are pointless, but I don't think they are pointless. That says... What? The tavern you were talking about. There it is, below. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, see the pawn shop opposite the tavern? Yeah. Its owner is now Pat, Ephraim's brother. They've always hated each other. Oh, and dear. They depended on each other. Naum was buying stolen stuff from the vagrants, who would then go to Ephraim to spend the money on shitty wine and whores. And Ephraim's spoons would often end up in Naum's shop. We used to call them the batshit brothers. <laughs> Why don't they like each other? Because each of them thinks that the other brother is richer. Soon you'll be able to play a concert there again. I want to see it, yes? Indica, that was a very stupid thing to say. He's got one arm. He isn't going to be able to play, my dear. Unless he, we come up with something or he regrows it, which I don't think you can actually do. Maybe, I don't know, maybe this is all about miracles and he'll miraculously regrow his limb, I don't know. He's definitely annoyed though. I mean, I get it. She cut off your arm, but she did save your life, so, you know. She did the right thing. Even though it feels wrong, she did the right thing, I think. Anything else here? 
I feel like we could stand on that, but I'm not going to. We'll stick with Ilya. Okay. There's a YouTuber called Ilya. Tree Boy Ilya, I think he's called. I've watched a few of his um, a few of his videos. He's he's lovely. Very, very sweet. And he is Russian, I believe. Although he doesn't sound Russian, it's... It, it, I don't know. I'm just going to shut up before I get offensive. I don't know if I would offend. I don't know if it's offensive. Shit, it's not finished. Well, no. I mean... Ah, what's this? Oh, we can't come... Oh, okay, Ilya, we can talk Down! to Down! Oh! Yeah, d Ilya, I'm sorry. I... I did the wrong thing. Uh, sorry. Ah! There we go. Sorry, Ilya. Okay. Get me down! Down! I mean, he doesn't seem... I don't know. He seems to want to keep us with him, which is kind of nice. Alright, we're here. So... Let's see. Who are you, dude? What the hell? So... There's a hook on this. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, what are we picking up? Okay, dude. What are we meant to be picking up? We just grab Ilya, pick him up. Let's let's just. All right. Jesus. This would raise the level of the other one. Let's just try it. Okay, okay. And then put that on top of that. Bam! There you go. I think we've got it. I think that's it. Because that's high enough now, isn't it? Take us off, Ilya. Let's go, baby. Rock and roll, buckaroo. All right. Yes. Thank God. Bloody hell, that took some doing. I mean, I don't think they're very happy. Sorry about that, boys. But, well, you know, we've got places to go. So. Down here. Oof. At least it's a soft landing in the snow. Ugh. That arm is gross. Blech. Okay. Bloody hell, that was a trial. Wait! Can we do that? I don't think it's a case of can we, it's we're doing it. 
For truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Matthew 17, 20. Okay. Where is the cadet? It's over. Been too long already. Last day the 23rd. Today, the cadets will be taken further. You'll be able to find it in the lips. Yeah, it's that's still where. Here. Please, if you only knew what we've been through. People showed up from other countries. Everyone who wanted to was already venerated. It. Listen, if you don't let me see the miracle, I'm dead. Literally. Dead. And he... I can be honest with you, right? Can I confess to you? Oh, sure. He escaped from prison to commune with the well, miracle. What do you mean? If only you knew what, what he's been through. Oh, fine. Wait here. Wait here. Wait here. Hmm. Was insane. Did you tell him everything? Don't worry. A priest will never break the seal of confession. He's had worse, trust me. He's had worse. This way, over here. What did he tell you? There he no. is. There he hey. is. No, no, we, we were just joking around. He has a knife. Don't come closer. No, he only has one arm. No way, he's got a knife. Just like a, uh, He'll stab me. Step aside. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. No. Shoot him. Shoot him. Freedom, oh. my dear. Oh my God, they shot the priest. Uh, 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 uh. It's here. What? The cadets. Come out with your hands up. Don't you dare. I'm gonna count to three. One. Don't you dare. This is only ground. Usually people show up about their legs. And? They grow back? It's not about that. You see, if the Lord allows... Did he shoot him? Enough. Let it go. Oh my god, what have we done? We can't see each other anymore. Why not? I'm getting married. Oh god, 
What? This isn't my decision. What can I do? Run away with me? To wander around with a gypsy tribe? No, just the two of us. We'll go to the city. And how will we earn a living? We'll get by. I'll get a job. But for starters, do you know where your father keeps the key to his register? No. What? Stealing from my father? Why stealing? He wouldn't withhold money from his own daughter, right? He only runs his store for your sake. I have my own key to the register. My father trusts me, but I would never. I'll do everything myself. Just give me the key. Maybe we shouldn't? Oh no. Oh, Indica. Oh god. So that's who steals our bikes. Cheers. Oh, wrench. Oh, okay, so we're Mirko. Okay, this is a new one. Okay. Oh god, he hit me. I think the idea is just to avoid him hitting you, and then you'll be alright. You won't lose any coin. Okay. Whoa! Damn! Oh god, really? We were so close, we had one left. We got it all? I think we got it all. So now I think we just need to get out, don't we? So we can drag him this way. What? We can't get out? Oh wait, there we go. I will not let you leave. Indica! What are you doing here? Do you know him? I don't. Hey! Sure you don't know him? No. Indica? Stay away from her. He seems to know you. I don't know him. Jesus. What? Oh. Okay. My God, what have we done? But there have got to help me who has strong hope in thee. Implore thy son that he may place me on his right hand, and worthy as I am when he sits to judge the living and the dead. Amen. Ever heard of Makar, the Scytheman? There was a lot about him in the papers, but only after he was hanged. Seven kids lost their heads because of his side. Oh my what? god. Well, he chopped them off. Are you comparing him to me? Well, no. No, I think Makar is something of a saint. Oh god. Listen, let me tell you. Makar had three kids, all of them boys. One day, he dropped something on his youngest, a, a wagon or a wardrobe or something. It was so bad that the poor boy stopped feeling his legs. Oh, God. Couldn't sleep at night. Lay there all day crying from pain. The village doctor couldn't do anything, so well, Maca couldn't take it anymore. He went to the priest and said, Bless me, Father. To end the child's suffering. Well, the priest didn't bless him, of course. He sent him home to pray and think about the salvation of his soul. Makar prayed for a week, but the son wouldn't stop screaming. So, Makar snapped, took the cover off his side, said a prayer, and ended the suffering with a single sleep. He went back to the priest and said, It's done, Father. I don't have a soul anymore. I lost my right to think about salvation back when I dropped that wardrobe on my son. Or was it a wagon? I don't remember. So, my soul is done. 
Better tell me where he is now, in hell or in heaven. The priest said, in heaven, of course. He didn't get to sin. In a way, you gave him a gift. Sent him straight to the kingdom of heaven without any earthly suffering. Well, this thought got stuck in Makar's head. So he went home, put his other sons in front of a kiosk, said a prayer with them, and chop their heads off. Sweet baby Jesus in the orphans. Well, after that, he went completely insane and started hunting down his neighbors' kids. Managed to kill four of them before he got caught. Good grief. Why is he a saint? Think of it this way. Some martyr gets burned at the stake because of Christ. Does it mean he buys himself eternal life for ten minutes of suffering? Hmm? Can we call this a real sacrifice? Makar is a different story. To save someone else's soul, he sacrificed his own. Why are you telling me all this? Father Proc, the one you killed. He couldn't have asked for a better gift. He's now an innocent victim, a martyr. Maybe he'll even be canonized. And what about Makar? What about him? He got hanged. Oh. Well. That's nice. In a... yeah. And what will happen to you? You'll get hanged, I guess. Listen. What's your name? It doesn't matter. Need something? Doesn't matter indeed. Listen, we didn't kill Father Buckle. Let me go. Don't take your conscience with sin. I'll repay you. And what exactly can you repay me with? Well, what do you want? What do I want? Come closer. Come on. Turn around. What? Turn around. Oh, oh. Come on. Now sing. What? I don't know. Something. French anthem. I don't know their anthem. Well, sing something you know. Quiet forest, love, love, by All the stars are in the sky. Fly and shepherd grass and Oh dear. Oh, come on. Come on, silly. Don't be afraid. I'm not scared. I guess I can't do anything worse than that. It's so easy to step over everything you believe in. Step where? Somewhere. Onto your side. What kind of side is that? Are you going to argue again? That there are no sides? That there's neither good nor evil? Well, you can try. Convince me that I haven't done anything bad. Or can you not even do that now? Bad? What does that word mean? I've killed a priest. Don't play dumb. I'm not. But still, what exactly does that word mean? Bad. Sinful. Of the devil. And how do you know what is of the devil and what is not? There are commandments. So we're checking against a formal list of regulations? No, everything is really obvious. 
It's evil, dishonest, unfair. Evil? There's not a drop of evil in despondency, avarice, or bawdry. Dishonest? A dog is honest. It eats when it's hungry, bites when it's scared, copulates when there's someone to do it with. Well, you remember. I'm talking about intentional dishonesty for one's own gain. So, pretending your whole life that you don't want something you want. That you don't feel something you feel for eternal life in heaven. Doesn't that fit perfectly with your definition? What else did you say? Unfair? Is it fair that one tree has a thousand leaves and another two thousand? Is it fair when two people throw the dice, one gets a six and the other gets a two? Of course, all this is rational, but we don't like this rationality. We angrily call it unfair. But if you forget your emotions, it turns out, strictly speaking, this word can't be applied to anything. What about what's happening now? What can be more revolting, disgusting, vile? I don't need any deliberations. I know it. I feel it. When you're cold, you don't need to think about it. You just feel it. You know that you're cold. Do you understand that there is no cold without warmth? You can't get rid of poverty and suffering, leaving only wealth and happiness. Leave me alone. Oh, I'd love to. But I will only disappear when you stop wanting me to. It's not that hard. Just remember that good and evil, warm and cold, those are just lines on a thermometer. God and the devil, those are you. One cannot exist without the other. Say complete exposure. No, you can't. I tell you what, fear not earthly justice for that of heaven. Oh, God. When the soul is separated from the body. Stop right there, you bitch! Stop! My hand! My hand! Fuck! Stop! Stop out right there, you bitch! Oh, the water. Help! Oh. Well. Is that, is that Ilya? That is not Ilya. Okay. Okay. We've got no points. All our points have gone, so points truly were pointless. Okay. God, look at this place, man. Is this the... Oh my god. Oh, oh, hi. Where is the Kudyet? One second. Oh, God, Ilya's drunk. Oh, oh. Did I undo my trousers? Where is the Kudyet? Oh, no, you didn't. Well, um... <laughs> they didn't even give me five rubles for it. What? Give me the money. I don't have any. It's gone. You know, I've already conquered the guitar, but the, the brass, the pipes. This is a 
pawn shop. Oh, hello. Where is the cadet? Hmm, never heard of it. Someone just exchanged it for a trumpet. A, a man with one arm? Oh, you are extremely lucky. This is exactly what you're looking for. An amazing artifact of unspeakable wondrous power. Just 25 rubles. What do you mean, 25? You got it for five. Mm. 20 for everything. Whoa, One whoa, second, whoa, whoa. I just need to have a look. You can look, but, but don't touch. What? What did you sell me, you scumbag? Oh, damn. Um, hold on. It, it doesn't even fucking you work. Just puke in it or something. God. What? what? Get your ass oh, my out God. Of okay. Go off me. We have to do it three times or something. My god, that's weird. Oh. Look at that. Oh, okay. I'm getting all my points back. It literally means nothing, does it? Do we open it? Does it open? Or something? Oh. There's nothing in it. Might run a little long today by the looks of it. Good grief. <gasps> the prayer beads. Is it a rosary you call it? A rosary? And that was the end. So... Did the devil leave her? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? But the devil saved her in the end, really. How strange. What a strange game. Very enjoyable, though. Very interesting. And points really did mean nothing in the end. But we did find some interesting things, and that's good, you know. Got to read all the uh, the law, so to speak. Wow. Well, let me know your thoughts, folks. I am... Um, wow. It was good. But doesn't look like... You know, um... Anything happened to... In terms of Ilya whether he was okay in the end or not. How very strange. It was very enjoyable, though. You know. Very well made. And um, I think it was well worth... well worth a playthrough. 
How very odd. Hmm. It's almost like... I suppose it's it's the whole yin-yang thing, isn't it? Where you've got to have the darkness to have the light. And you've got to have the light to have the darkness. You can't have one without the other. You can't have good without evil. You know, as he said, you can't have warmth without cold. How strange. Hmm. I just, I don't know. I wish Ilya would have gotten a, a nice sort of ending, really. I don't know whether Innika's ending was nice or not. Obviously, it looks like the devil was kind of... kind of left her, but... Ilya still has no arm. But he does get to live, and apparently get very drunk, and um, play the trumpet very poorly. Ugh, I don't know. Just strange. But there you go. That's Indica. Over. So, I hope you have enjoyed it. I know I've enjoyed it. And now we need to find something else to play on Spooky Saturdays. So if you have any suggestions, ideas, thoughts, anything at all, do leave it in the comments below, because it does help. I appreciate you all watching, liking, subscribing, if you feel that you would like to. And um, I think we'll leave it there. So until next time, be safe, be good, and do look after yourselves.